Hey, I'm Jamie with Guitarist Magazine. And I'm Richard. We've got two guitars here. Um, the reason we're both in the studio together, each clutching an acoustic guitar, is that Yamaha have released new versions of two of their most interesting nylon string crossover acoustic guitars. So in our hands here we have the NCX5 and the NTX5. So the basic concept between these is two takes on the concept of the modern nylon string guitar. Uh, both have uh, quite an interesting pickup system which is all new for these models uh, which involves a undersaddled contact uh, a sensor and a mic um, but other than that they take a slightly different flavor of um, nylon string and you can pick which one suits you best um, this the ncx5 is based more on a traditional classical guitar experience and the ntx5 is more aimed at players coming from either an electric or a steel string acoustic background. So we'll get into the details now and show you why, uh, how that plays out in the actual spec of the guitars. Um, I'm gonna go first. I've got the NCX5, which is the more traditional, classical um, oriented of the two. And what you get with this one is a Sitka spruce top, walnut back and sides, 12 frets to the body. Uh, it's got a cutaway, so access isn't um, a problem there. 18 frets in total absolutely ironing board flat uh, fingerboard as you'd expect from a uh, classical bass guitar and a 52 millimeter nut so that's plenty wide there so that's as that's as wide as um, anyone would need for um, everything from classical to finger styles so what that means in practice is you get a bit more room to do those uh, the, the kind of classical finger style technique but if you're a fan of hooking your thumb over the top you might want to turn to the guitar that Richard is holding. Right okay so this is the same uh, materials essentially the same top spruce top and the walnut back and sides have a slimmer fingerboard that's 48 mil so this doesn't sound like night and day but you really notice that in the palm of your hand and the fretboard is not quite flat now I wouldn't like to take a guess at that but it's got to be at least a 16 inch radius it's just got a slight camber that you can see when you hold the guitar up and look at it um, we have many, many more frets on here. I have 22 on the bottom and whopping 24 on the on the top there. So um, I can't imagine anybody writing to Yamaha and saying there aren't enough frets on there. Um, we have the same pickup system. I've personally always been a fan of Yamaha's pickup systems. It always worked really well for me. And um, we have a slightly flatter heel at the bottom here so that's a little bit more like you might find on a steel string acoustic guitar and I think that's most of the differences covered there. It is and uh, one, one thing actually which we did notice was that your the body of yours is shallower you don't ah, notice yes. it straight away but it's actually um, 10 mil uh, or a centimetre um, shallower on yours yes. so again it contributes to that kind of fast slinky kind of modern players kind of feel to it this one's got a bit more girth to it and of course because of its 12 frets to the body it feels a little bit more compact and the other thing about being 12 frets to the body is it positions the bridge differently in relation to the soundboard. Some people feel it puts it, positions it more centrally for a fuller tone and they, they do have a different tone don't they? They do though one of the reasons I think that we found it at first we were saying is that one deeper um, is that this one does actually have a very full sound. Usually if an acoustic guitar of any kind has a more a contained dimension to it then you can get a more sort of slight boxy quality to the sound that's not necessarily an issue but, but I'm finding that very satisfying and every frequency is represented in there that I'd want to hear from a nylon string I think. I have to say when we did pick them up uh, that was the one my ear immediately gravitated towards so it's a little bit sweeter and lighter sounding but they're, they're both really great sounding guitars and um, I think apart from that issue of whether you like the hooking a thumb over the top you know you could quite happily I feel you could quite happily own the two of these and justify having both yeah yeah absolutely because if, if you do want to do that and you've got the slight radius then then this is this is your guitar really but if you wanted to play more traditional repertoire then I, I'm not an expert classical guitarist but I would say that it's quite difficult to, you need the right tool for the right job and so that would be your guitar for that so uh, in summary, uh, the £1,700 uh, and there and there, there and thereabouts, uh, you know, not a cheap guitar, but then again, not kind of exotica. They're built in China, but the final finishing at uh, uh, late stages of the process is finished in Japan, which is the highest level of manufacturing that Yamaha does. Um, what's your verdict on these, Rich? 
Um, well, Yamaha's quality control, having picked up dozens of these, is is great. I think that they're a really nice guitar, not just for the money either. I think that they're a really nice guitar, and anybody that's even considering getting into the, the sort of nylon string thing that, that maybe doesn't always want to play classical should definitely check these out. Great. Um, so I, I think uh, the one I would take home is probably the NCX, despite the fact I do like hooking my thumb over. This, for me, it's got slightly deeper, more sonorous quality to it. Uh, which one would you take home? I'd take this one. Um, I have a nylon at home and sort of happy enough with that. And I like the idea that this is slightly more manageable. I'm impressed with the fact that I don't feel I'm compromising on depth of sound with, with, with the smaller body. So yeah, it would be, it would be a novelty for me. I'd enjoy using that, maybe use it in some productions, overdub it with some electrics and things like that. Yeah. So there we have it, the NCX5 and the NTX5, two fantastic crossover nylon strings from Yamaha. Go check them out. Thank you.